The Guru 360 is powered by Guns N' Moses industry leading solutions in stabilization software and hardware. Battery and charging. To power the Guru 360, remove the battery cap. Insert the 18650 battery positive side up into the handle. Then tighten the battery cap hand tight. The battery will power the stabilizer up to 4 to 8 hours, depending upon camera load. When the blue power LED rapidly flashes, it's time to change the battery or charge it. The battery can be charged from the USB port located on the Guru 360's handle. Connect the other end of the USB cable to a USB power supply. A red LED light indicates charging. Another method of charging is using the battery holder. Insert the battery with positive terminal facing the status LED. Connect the USB cable to the battery holder and the other end to a USB power supply. For both methods of charging, average charging time for a full charge is 4 hours. Moza Handle At the bottom of the handle is a 1 4 mount for tripod or mono pole. The power button is located on the handle just below the joystick. The joystick is a 5-way control that controls yaw rotation, tilt pitch, and mode selection. Triple press the joystick to recenter the gimbal. On one side of the handle is a USB charging slash data port, and on the opposite side from the USB port is a focus switch that has no function with 360 cameras. The focus switch currently only works with the Moza Mini C. On the back of the Moza handle is a 1 4 accessory mount. Balancing and counterweight setup. To balance the Theta, first mount the stabilizer to a tripod or ask a friend for a helping hand. First refer to the counterweight diagram before balancing your camera. For the Theta, it will require three counterweights on the motor side and position one. Install the counterweights till hand tight. On the opposite side from the motor, it will require two counterweights in position three. Install the counterweights till hand tight. Locate your camera's 1 4th mount. Line up the camera's mount with the Guru 360's thumb screw. Take note of your camera's sight lines and position the camera's lenses so the tops or motors are cut off by the stitch lines. Before hand tightening the thumb screw, check the camera's center of gravity. You may need to make adjustments from left to right to find the center of gravity. Once center of gravity has been found, hand tighten the thumb screw. It's important to find the camera's center of gravity correctly on the stabilizer or you will encounter performance issues. Filming Modes The Guru 360 has three built-in filming modes. The default filming mode is all lock. The second mode is accessed by pressing in the joystick one time and that is yaw follow mode. The third mode is accessed by pressing the joystick two times for yaw and tilt follow mode. And all lock mode is accessed by pressing the joystick for four seconds. Horizontal, flashlight and inverted. Rotate your wrist to a 45 degree angle. The stabilizer will switch the position of the camera automatically to the horizontal slash flashlight position. To go fully inverted, rotate your wrist again. The stabilizer will once again automatically orient itself. To return the stabilizer, simply repeat the steps in reverse, or turn off the stabilizer and restart it. If the stabilizer comes in contact with itself, the motors will enter protection mode and turn off the power. Simply restart the stabilizer to regain use.